What's up guys, today I am back at Busch Gardens Williamsburg and this is actually the first time I've been to a park in probably about two months. And I don't know if you can tell or not, but I got a brand new camera now. I got the Nikon Z50 now. I've been using the Panasonic Lumix G7 all this time, but this is my first time at a park with this new camera, so let's see how she does. Let's get into the park and this one ride that's been calling my name all year, but I have not ridden it this year, which would be good old Alpi. Let's go to her first. All right, Alpi, you eluded me all year. No more. I'm finally going to get on you. Alright, so I just did Alpine Guys three times. I did it once in the back, once in the front, and once I think second row. So it was pretty fun, but I feel like it was running very slow. It is early in the morning and it is pretty cold right now. It's about like 40 degrees right now. I guess I'm rising this thing a little bit later today as it warms up and as the day kind of warms up a little bit more. Alright, um, let's head towards Fair Bolton next. Alright, time to go into the Forbidden Forest. 90 minutes, I call bullshit. Hey, where's my cute entertainment? I'm suing, come on. So this is interesting, there's no announcements or any pre-show thing playing right now. It's just complete silence, not even dispatching or anything. It's just total silence. It's anticlimactic, like there's like nothing going on, just nothing. Whatever. Into the forest, we go. Alright, so I just did Fair Bolton five times. I think every single ride was in the front row because, no, back row. Every single ride was in the back row, so five times in the back row. I consider it a family coaster. Comment down below, what do you think Fair Bolton is? Do you think it's a family coaster or more moderate coaster? I consider it more of a higher end family. Somewhere in the middle, I guess. Oh, look, more heat. Stars, or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car. We can sleep under the 
the stars We can sleep under the stars Under the stars What's up guys, we're back at Bush Gardens Williamsburg and it is now night time. All the lights are now on and it's very pretty. Put the focus over there. There's the focus over there. Focus on me now. Hello again. So it's a lot colder right now than it was earlier today. So I think the rides are still open, so let's try to get some rides in. And once the rides close down and once it gets too cold, then we'll just have a look around and have a look at some of the beautiful lights and setups that they have throughout the park. Let's get to it guys. Well, I was going to do Fair Bolton first, but Alpengeist is right here, and she's calling my name. Look at some night rides on Alpi. Why are you so loud? Shut up, girl. Will we get trips? See? Ah! Guys, it was cold. I did it twice, like back row, then second to back row. Let's go to Fair Bolton. <laughs> what? Hug it, hug it. Why? Why? Fine. I guess I bolted my way through the Black Forest for the last time this year. So next time, Phil Bolton. All right, so since Phil Bolton's closed up for the night, I might head towards Invader, see if that's open. Probably won't be open, but worth a shot. If not, then I'll try Alpi. If Alpi's not open, then I'll just have a look around the park and look at the decorations. There's plenty of trees to look at. Look at this one right here. And this one right here. So beautiful. Well, Alpi's closed. Oh well. At least I got like, what, 16 rides on this thing today? Not too bad. Onward. Just wanted to check out Invader just to make sure, but yep. It's closed too. But there's a train over here. Let's go on a train. Well, that was mildly underwhelming actually. There was like no Christmas decorations throughout the track like last year, but can't blame them. It's been a rough year for them. Uh, let's see how far I can go towards Italy. I don't think Pompeii is set up like how it was last year, but let's take a look. So what's kind of funny about this, all these cookies coming off of this conveyor belt right here, it looks like they're all coming straight out of hell with that fire behind them. Oh, 
little sinister. So this is interesting, the Michael and Lucifer statue is normally here, but now there's a snowman there. So yeah, it looks like the pathways are blocked off right before Pompeii, so... I was hoping to get some closer shot to Pantheon, but not this time. Alright, so even Finnegan's Flyer is closed up for the night. I think practically every single ride is closed for the night. Which is... that's kind of a bummer. Things kind of closed down a little bit earlier than I hoped though, but... It is what it is. Let's have a look at some lights. Alright guys, well that's going to wrap up my day here at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. I had a fantastic time here, as I always do at this park. Even though it wasn't quite over the top of how they normally do stuff, I would say for COVID, they did a pretty fine job. I can't wait to come back here next year, and hopefully Pantheon will be a thing next year. Alright guys, I wrapped the video up here. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys in the next loop. See you guys.